I do remember the first time I ever came to Comic Con though. Uh, I dressed up as Darth Vader, and um, I didn't realize it. My dad told me later, but there were some stormtroopers that followed me around for a little while. And that's back when I was like, I'm 21 now. I think I was like 16 or 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's like an awesome movie, it like, what's not to love about it? It has like lightsabers, and it's got like fights and stuff, and it's got like cool like aliens and stuff. Well, not aliens, but they're like weird creatures. We're here to warn you of the danger that you're in apart from it. The moment you die in this life, without Christ, in which you were never born, you'll be a curse I heard it. the everlasting fire. Everyone was sort of raised on it, I guess, and it just has that sort of, there's something about the way the story is told that's just captivating, I guess. And this is the first good one we're going to get in a while, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we are here on day one of Star Wars Episode 7. Yeah, yeah. How incredible is that? I can die now. All right. No My whole life has led to this moment. I'm in heaven. I think we've worn the suit out probably quicker than we expected because every time you meet someone, they just want to hug it. Getting back to the old days, the old ways of doing things. <laughs> JJ's trying to make sure these movies have a physicality to them. We truly are out in a desert, a real desert. Star Wars. I'd burn for Star Wars. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring this character to life. You don't get to build an X-Wing every day or a Millennium Falcon. Every day I come to work smiling. Energy and action! You have to pause, take a breath, slow down, and really not freak out. 